Hi Lou, my name's Sean from Carpentersville. I've got a question about my brick paver patio in the backyard. I constantly get weeds coming up through it. Is there a way to stop that? Oh, I got it for you, Sean. What you need is Roundup. This is the stuff that'll kill those weeds in between the brick. But you have to be careful because it'll kill anything else as well. It's nasty stuff. Go ahead and put some rubber gloves on because you don't want to spill any of this on your hands as you're squirting it. Squirt any of those weeds and then give it a couple of days and you'll see it start to brown out, pull anything out of there, and hit it one more time. It digs in deep and will kill the weeds at the roots. And you'll probably be weed free for at least two to three months. Hi Lou, my name is Phyllis and I have a question for you. When you're patching a wall and you've got it smoothed down really nice, the stipple doesn't usually match what was originally on the wall. How do you get that stipple to match? Well, it's funny, Phyllis, you say stipple and I say stimple, sort of like that tomato tomato thing. But what we're trying to talk about is the actual texture on the wall. Here's what you need to do. You need to spot prime that area that you sanded smoothly with a roller to create that pattern. You see, that stimple, as I call it, is from the paint, the actual texture of the paint going on. But the primer is gonna give you a chance to not only seal up what you patched, but to mimic the rest of the pattern on the wall. Now you may need to do a couple of coats on this, and once you get it to match closely, it's a good idea to use a real bright light off to the side so you can see if it matches across the wall. Go ahead and repaint that entire wall with a new coat of paint so it blends it all in and it looks like it was always there. Here's an email from Bobby. We had a completely new roof installed approximately two years ago. Now, water drips profusely, nonstop from our cathedral ceiling in the winter. A contractor told us that the dew point was reached and condensation is causing the problem and the attic needs to be insulated. He recommended an open cell insulation, but the internet site recommended closed cell foam insulation. What would you do? Oh, the internet is a wonderful place, isn't it, Bobby? You get ready to make a decision and then you decide to do some more research and you get even more confused. Well, here's what I know about open cell and closed cell insulation. Closed cell is more dense, it doesn't move as much, and moisture cannot pass through it, while open cell allows things to pass through. The insulation process is still equal, but both of those factors, based on excessive moisture in a cathedral ceiling, well, it could work against you with a closed cell because it could keep it all in there and you'd see the moisture on the drywall. Ventilation is the key. I mean, you mentioned in your email that you had a new roof installed. I'm a little concerned that there's not proper ventilation up in that space. So you wanna make sure you either have a continuous ridge vent with a large enough gap to allow air to flow out of the top and soffit vents below. And then if you put insulation in there, you have to make sure there's an insulation baffle to allow the air to flow from the bottom of the roof all the way to the top. If you ensure all of that, shouldn't have any moisture in that cathedral ceiling at all.